From shooting raw images, using advanced phone settings to block spam calls, and having your scroll menu back again, here are 15 favorite hidden features that you can find on your S25 Ultra. And keep in mind, some of these features can also be available on other Samsung devices. So with that said, timestamps and everything else will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's start off with the wallpaper animation. This is a feature that I always loved, even on my Samsung Flip, and you're able to freely have it enabled even on the S25 Ultra. In case you forget, simply hop into your settings, you go into wallpaper and style, and from here just select change wallpaper, and where it says create with AI, just select this one with the three different weather element, select try now, and just select any existing wallpaper you have. And once you're satisfied, just click on it, allow it to generate and load, place it to your personal preference, hit the play animation, it will give you a preview on how it will look like, and once you're satisfied, pause, and tap done and now next time when you lock your device based off the weather it will show current weather conditions like right now it's raining but if it's sunny it'll show like uv sunny rays it's pretty cool now another thing i like to show you is i don't know if you noticed but back in our system settings and in the wallpaper and style tab by selecting here change wallpaper you can create a wallpaper using ai so here's some previews of some examples that they have going on you can use the existing text or change some certain things. Like if you want like a, sw a foggy swamp, hit generate, let go. And Gemini will automatically generate a cool epic image of your style. Of course, if you want something sci-fi, you can add Tron or Retro and it will get it done. And some of the past creations you see here are absolutely amazing. It's much better than being subscribed to a wallpaper app. Now new for the Samsung is the now brief section right here, where if you're watching like a YouTube video for say, and we tap play and we unlock our device, you'll notice we have the ability to pause and play our video from here. You can also tap on the icon to enlarge the video of now playing. It also works with music or podcasts, basically any media output, you could have quick control right here on your display. So that's one of the cool things about this now brief section. But if your favorite sport's playing, by unlocking your device and going into settings, if you scroll down to lock screen and lock screen and AOD for always on display, by clicking on here and click on the now bar and you tap on Google Sports and then continue tapping sports from Google, you could allow it to monitor your favorite game. So if you want to monitor like either a sport in particular, like a sport team, you could tap plus to follow MBL, NBA, and much more. And then by tapping finish, next time when your favorite sport game is playing, you automatically see it in the now brief highlights right down here on the current score. And then if you ever have a mathematical question, it doesn't have to be in notes or something like that. It could be algebra, anything really. By, you know, by long holding the power button, this will activate Gemini. But on top, there's a section where you could task, but on top, there is a section you could tap to ask about the display. So if you like to solve the equation, like right here and you're stuck at it, you can always just do this. Long hold for Gemini, tap ask about my screen, help me solve this. And if we move the screen around, as you can see, it not only tells us the answer, but it also tells us how it was able to get that. That's a little cool little trick right there. Other cool things you can do with Gemini, if we launch our app category and you select Gemini itself and you tap on your profile right above here and you click on, and we go ahead and tap on the extension section. If you go on the very bottom, you could actually synchronize Gemini to work alongside your other third-party apps you may have already installed on your device. So like YouTube and YouTube Music. And by doing this, you can always just request Gemini to like play the latest Dead Mouse track. And you'll see your two options. If you selected Spotify or YouTube Music, you can like tap on it. It'll immediately hop between one app to the other. And yeah, it's playing it, but I'm not going to keep playing it so I don't get copyrighted. And of course, you can do this with your favorite podcast and etc. Now, when it comes to the camera app, aside from like the face swap ability when you take photos or the capability to remove back noise, there's an impressive feature that's not really well talked about. And that is the fact that we actually have, finally have Expert Raw. By selecting Expert Raw, this allows you to actually capture more detail when it comes to taking photos, 
giving you a real professional camera experience. And of course, capturing images using this raw setting will allow your phone to gather more detail, allowing you to have more freedom to adjust the colors and everything else basically in this photo that's captured. But the only con to this is it will use up more storage for photos than you typically would. So to most people, myself included, I love shooting this method. It just gives us more freedom to adjust certain things to make it better and more crisp. Again, you just have to go into the camera app and go on more and then select Expert Raw and it will download the appropriate settings that it needs. You also have Pro Video as well for Pro Logs. Now in the settings app on your device, if you need to like do something on your phone and you're having a hard time like locating it, it, by tapping the search, you can use Gemini to do what you're trying to do. This could be something like add more fingerprints. It could just be a sentence on what you're trying to do and it immediately will give you the section right here to add additional fingerprints. But if you don't want a fingerprint reader on your lock screen, because if we lock our device, you could just be unconscious and someone will still be able to unlock your device like so, I would recommend and going into the add finger section and disable unlock via fingerprint. This way you don't have the fingerprint icon on your wallpaper, which means you're going to have to use face ID to unlock your device. Which, to my surprise, Face ID is actually much more quicker and accurate than previous generation models. But enough of that. I don't know if you noticed, but my Google search menu is actually a different color. You see, now we finally have the freedom to go in settings and customize it to your own personal preference. Or you can select like a custom color. You can also adjust the transparency too if you want it to be super clear or not. And once you're satisfied, just tap back and it'll save automatically. Now when it comes to phone calls, there's a lot of enhanced AI abilities. So by launching the phone app, if you tap on the three dots over here and go into settings in the record calls by selecting here and selecting transcript assist, you can now use auto transcripts to record each phone call, allowing you to have a written transcript available so you can summarize them or search for certain segments of your conversations you had. You could allow it to do it all automatically now. And then if you're receiving a lot of spam callers, still in the call settings in the phone app, if you scroll down to call ID and spam protection, by enabling it, but by tapping on it and make sure it's turned on, you can either select block all spams as well as spam calls or only block certain high risk scam callers. And it's all thanks to the partnership with Haida. So this is a free built-in feature that this S25 now has. And then finally, if you want to know how I was able to reverse this menu from the traditional Samsung alphabetical order, it's fairly easy. Just tap on the three dots over here, go to sort, and then tap alphabetical order. Because if you hit custom order, this is the new like menu page that Samsung has us do. But if you like to reverse back to it, alphabetical order. In my opinion, it's easier doing this and selecting your apps just because of my muscle memory. Additionally, if you like to enable the auto rotation, the landscape mode, it's fairly easy. Just tap on the dots right down here, select settings and scroll down and enable rotate to landscape mode. And now every time when you have your phone on landscape mode, your menu will automatically rotate. Ideal for if you have like a car mount, you know, or you're just in bed, men don't want to switch your phone. But there we have it. Those are my favorite tips and tricks and some hidden features that's available currently on the S25. If you wish to watch more, you want to see all the additional settings and cool features that this S Pen has to offer, I do a whole video tutorial on how you can find some amazing unique settings for it as well, which you could go ahead and watch right over there. Thank you so much for watching.